Hello guys, my name is Amit Saini and I welcome you to this daily UPSC MCQ series. In the evening, these lessons are coming and in the evening, we are discussing the Hindu paper. There are the facts we discuss there and the questions we revise here and many important references like the PIB, the EPW magazine, the New Express newspaper, some other websites and all. So we refer all of them here for the current affair section and all relevant questions we are discussing. So very, very important section this is and follow it religiously. Pocket News app is trending on Google Play. You can download that regarding these courses. The descriptions are given below the video. You can call on these numbers and the chat section is given uh, below the video. And uh, here you will get the PDF. You will also get the Telegram channels link here. And you can follow me on Instagram too. Uh, this is the page here. First question, Megalomorphs. Megalomorphs are relatively large and long living spiders. Is it correct? First of all, these are uh, uh, specifically spiders. No doubt about that. And th this is a very famous category. And some of them, they live up to 25 years of age. And that's really a, a unique thing and a specific, a speci special thing. And these are the categories of primitive spiders. That's very important because India rep represents uh, uh, a few of them all are not represented but these are found in India recently the Tantula was found in Tamil Nadu and uh, that was a very important issue and uh, funnel web and trapdoor spiders are also belonging to this category so it's a very important one so this question may be asked by UPSC UPSC focuses on these kind of unique details so first statement is correct second Idiopis nilagri is recently found and this belongs to this megalomorph category only. It's a primitive spider, trapdoor spider, but it is not Western Ghats. It is the area of Odisha. The town is called Nilagiri. So do not confuse it with the Nilgiri Hills. It is Nilagiri in Odisha. So uh, this is, uh, you may say the Eastern Ghat region. It is not the Western Ghat region. So this is a wrong statement. Only one is the right answer here. Very unique quality is there because they uh, 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 live in a tubular burrows means they dig that and they hide under a unique kind of a, uh, uh, cock shaped lid above this furrow and they hide under it and whenever any kind of prey that comes then it will attack very stealthily so that's very unique kind of quality of uh, uh, this uh, uh, trapdoor spider that's why we call them trapdoor spider very unique ones and uh, Regarding these uh, megalomorph species, they are very important. 116 species belonging to 33 genera. These are uh, found in India and uh, they live about 25 years on an average. That, that's really a unique thing. You can see the picture here and you can see that burrow. And uh, they are there under the trees and uh, uh, under, under the sand and all. And uh, these are unique kind of cock lids. You can see that. It closes this burrow with this. Next, the average lifespan of chimpanzee is 25 to 30 years. You see, we had a news today that Rita, the oldest living chimpanzee female, she died of uh, multiple organ failures and her age was 59. So uh, she was there uh, in Limca books of uh, records too because the average life lifespan is only 40 to 50 years for chimpanzees. And why these are un unique? unique? Because these are the closest animals genetically to humans and we both are very very similar uh, genetically many many genes we share but you see the genus and the species the lowest uh, 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 levels in all the classification so species are different but genuses they are also different means our genus is homo and uh, the chimpanzee genus is pan so that's unique and uh, we are homo sapiens and they are pan uh, uh, then something uh, scientific name is there so I will tell you so the genus is also different so this statement is wrong second is wrong and first is also wrong because it is 32 uh, for uh, sorry 40 to 50 years the average lifespan so both the statements are wrong here D none many many similarities are there uh, between chimpanzee and humans you can see Rita and she was uh, born in Amsterdam she was brought here in 1964 and uh, she died yesterday average weight 40 to 60 uh, kilograms for males and for females around uh, 27 to 50 and the gestation period is also very similar that is eight months and male dominated hierarchy is there in the uh, in these uh, groups of uh, 
uh, these uh, uh, chimpanzees very unique things and very similar to humans and closest living relatives these are they belong to the category of great ape and uh, the gorillas and uh, these chimpanzees and all these are related to that and these are endangered species in the IOCN list and here you see kingdom animalia phylum chordata class mammalia these are all similar to humans order primates uh, haplorini and uh, haplorini is the suborder and family hominidae till here we are same and here genus is different this is pan and for humans it is homo so these are the details very very unique things so you will find very many interesting things uh, are there so upsc may ask you questions regarding that next blue baron himalayan tailless bush blue blue mormon and tamil yeoman you must have heard about a lot of them tamil yeoman was uh, in news recently where tamil nadu declared it as state symbol there so what are these are these sparrows sparrows are very unique and endangered too but these are not sparrows are these butterflies are these goats or are these sheep all are unique all are important but these are butterflies blue mormon was declared as state butterfly of uh, maharashtra in 2015 so that was there in the upsc paper of 2016 prelims so that was important tamil yeoman was declared by tamil nadu so these are important bee butterflies why these are important because these are bio indicators means they tell about the environment and the conditions and some changes in their habitats in their uh, uh, lifestyle ways in their reproductive ways that means the environment is changing and that's why it's a very very important issue and recently in the himalayan ecosystem some issue was seen where uh, some uh, uh, butterflies like the tailless bush blue and blue baron their habitats they changed they are now found on uh, higher uh, levels of himalayas means uh, earlier they used to be found uh, around 20, 2200 meters now they are found around 3600 meters height so that's really a scary thing because uh, this is the clear indication of climate change and this was there in the newspaper today and uh, many of these species are protected under the wildlife protection act of 1972 so these these details are very important and they represent the overall health of the environment that's why they are bio indicators okay bio indicators very important issue blue mormon you can see straight bird uh, straight butterfly of uh, maharashtra this is tamil yeoman here and uh, other details are also given like the uh, the tamil nadu straight tree is palmera straight flower is uh, gloriosa emerald is the straight bird straight fruit is jackfruit nilgiritar is the straight animal there so they may ask you about these details okay this uh, tamil yeoman was yeoman was also called tamil maravan or tamil warrior here so this is important next armed forces tribunals this issue was there in yesterday's newspaper where uh, rajender menon is going to be the next justice there in armed forces tribunals so they are established for uh, armed forces tribunals act of 2007 the bill was brought up in 2005 passed in 2007 and these tribunals were established in 2009 by the president of india do uh, they cover all military and paramilitary forces under their purview no assam rifles uh, coastal guards and all these are not covered under them but others are like the issues of uh, uh, these uh, commissions uh, service conditions related to army act air force act navy act okay so all the appeals they can come to armed forces tribunal and the judicial members will be retired high court judges not supreme court judges this is wrong and this is also wrong both the statements are wrong here d none is the answer you can see judicial members are retired high court judges administrative members are uh, armed forces officers uh, at the rank of uh, uh, major general and equivalent ranks and uh, they have made rules also the armed forces tribunal rules 2008 principal bench is there in new delhi and uh, issues related to commission appointments enrollments condition of service in respect of persons subject to the army act of 1950 navy act of 57 air force act of 1950 they will be subjected to armed forces tribunal so these are the specific type of military tribunals so that's important rajender menon is going to be the next one because uh, uh, mr virender singh is going to retire in october month virender singh who is the present incumbent chairperson of aft so this is uh, the data here next international astronomical union iau serves as the internationally recognized authority 
for assigning designations to celestial bodies the names and all for planets and for uh, asteroids and all uh, uh, this statement is correct because this is the body which recommends these names or these proposals to the working groups and uh, these are the scientists and important experts and for 10 years they analyze these details and then they propose their names and uh, uh, issues then these are cleared by international astronomical union iau and uh, recently they have named an asteroid after indian physicist pandit jasraj first of all asteroid belt is there between mars and jupiter's orbit we all know mars is the outermost of the inner planets four are the inner planets mercury venus earth and mars and after mars there is asteroid belt and after that these uh, uh, giants are there like the gas giants like uh, the jupiter saturn uranus neptune so these are the eight planets after that pluto series all these are there but these are not planets so in this asteroid belt many rocky particles or rocky bodies are there these are asteroids and i au has named one of them on the name of pandit jasraj but he is not a physicist this is wrong he is a classical vocalist and a very renowned figure in india from mevati gharana of classical music so second is wrong only one is the right answer here you can see these are important and this body was uh, uh, discovered by arizona based telescope in 2006 and now they have named it after indian classical singer pandit jasraj you must have seen him at many places he is uh, uh, still living and a very great figure and a very renowned figure in india next saladi uni uni and saladi atacama atacama you know the desert is there in south america so this is the simplest hint here and it is not africa so this is wrong they are famous for gold deposits no they are famous for a very unique thing that we need a lot and that uh, those reserves are not there in many of the countries including india means uh, lithium is that uh, uh, thing and we do not have the reserves there and we are gonna have many deals there president kovind went there uh, a few months back and we finalized many of the deals there because 45% of the world's reserves of lithium they are present there in lithium triangle that where these three countries are connect uh, are uh, connecting to each other means the uh, bolivia argentina and chile so that is uh, the triangle and there these deposits are there and these are the salt beds which are called saladi uni saladi atacama where these lithium deposits are present so d none is the answer both the statements are wrong okay you can see this is the triangle bolivia's la paz city is there a very important one saladi uni saladi atacama saladi ari uh, uh, ari zero uh, is here so these are the places important for lithium next earth's mantle we know the composition of earth and uh, many times i have shown you pictures in the starting lectures of mine so earth's mantle is the mass of mantle is uh, 84% of the mass of earth no the volume of uh, mantle is 84% of earth's volume the mass is 67% only okay mass is uh, something very uh, heavy component so this is wrong second goldsmith tight a type of diamond is found in this uh, uh, mantle layer in south africa's mine first of all it is found in a diamond but it is not a type of diamond it's a unique type of mineral where a lot of uh, rare earth minerals are also uh, the uh, ingredients of it and this is uniquely found in south africa's mine so both the statements are wrong goldsmithite is this mineral uh, it is named after mr goldsmith and he is the father of modern geochemistry so he is a norwegian scientist and on the name of it it is given the name so both the statements are wrong d none is the answer okay this is a unique detail and you must know the composition of earth and the uh, minerals which are found mainly in earth's mantle magnesium iron silica these are found and uh, the silicate rocks are uh, there 60% mass of earth's mass is there with mantle and 84% volume is there okay so that's very very important magma currents are uh, running in some part of the mantle always and they are the responsible factors for volcanism on the surface and gold schmidtite is a unusual chemical signature of for a mineral from earth's mantle and you see diamonds are found uh, uh, till 160 km depth so these are unique uh, type of uh, entities 
विच गिव अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन सो द मेंटल मेकअप अराउंड एटी एटी फोर परसेंट ऑफ अर्थ वॉल्यूम बट वेरी लिटल इज नॉन अबाउट इट मीन्स वी हैव रीच अप टू द लिमिट्स ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम एंड बियॉन्ड एंड वी नो अ लॉट ऑफ डिटेल डिटेल्स ऑन द स्पेस बट वी डू नॉट नो मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स अंडर द ग्राउंड दैट्स रियली अ इंटरेस्टिंग फिनोमिना एंड यू कैन सी द द सॉलिड कोर द लिक्विड कोर दैन द ऑरेंज वन इज द मेंटल एंड दैट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट द मोस्ट ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अर्थ इज इज प्रेजेंट हियर ओके नेक्स्ट एमरी आइस शेल्फ where it is located emery ice shelf was in news today and when i told you that a major ice block 1636 square kilometer this sized block is broke off from antarctica's emery ice shelf so it is there in antarctica c is the answer and the geography graphy of uh, antarctica is very very unique very very important so please go through it vincent massif is the highest point there and uh, the weddell sea is here ross sea is here so these are unique details and very important one and this uh, block broke off from it but it's a it's a very very huge uh, block 236 meters thick block and 1636 square kilometers so you can imagine how big that loss was but that's a part of natural process according to the geo scientists there so that's important and this is all for today we'll meet again tomorrow with many more questions thanks a lot keep watching it was amazing